think the most memorable moment for the brand has been? I know oh, there's a lot. Look, I know there's a whole resume, but is there any like one or know, two that I kind mean, of stick out? I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, Dr. King coming and sitting with mom and, you know, his office was down the street. So he would come often and just hang out and have lunch and chit chat. But, you know, so he's sitting there with her planning his speech, talk, planning what he's going to say and passing things, you know, so for her to experience those things were incredible. One thing that she talks about that's the opposite of that, which is the tragic side is she always vividly talks about the day that he, that she got the news that he was killed, you know, so it's kind of like so many things revolving around him were tremendous, you know, and then, you know, President Obama coming in was another major milestone because it's almost like going from, from my mom to have lived before Dr. King, DC was segregated. They opened in 1958. My dad and mom could not go and eat in a restaurant in Georgetown or downtown DC. They were segregated. Dad told me many times how he would have to go to the back alley entrance and knock on the door and maybe catch one of the guys working in the back, taking out trash or something and say, hey man, can, can I get a cup of coffee? Because you couldn't go into the front door. You were not allowed to. So U Street back in those days was Black Broadway. It's where the black people came and hung out and were dressed up. And, you know, so in those days, the radio DJs were like celebrities. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so they'd be dressed up and the jazz artists, Miles Davis and Duke Ellington and Coltrane and Ella Fitzgerald, all these folks would come down there. They'd perform. They'd hang out at the Chili Bowl afterwards. But so you had all strata of our people there at U Street. That, it was Black Broadway back then, you know what I mean? And so when, after Dr. King was killed and after the riots and stuff, integration began. And that's when everyone, you know, so we welcomed everyone before that. But I'm just saying dynamic wise, things really changed. So for mom to have lived during the time when it was segregated and Dr. King was talking about a dream and having a dream and bringing people together around that dream. And then he's tragically killed. And next thing you know, the integration starts to happen and you start seeing things opening up and opportunities opening up. And all of a sudden, Obama's in the White House and mom has lived through from, from one end to the other. It's huge. 